I'm Vince Kevin Owen. This is Holly Shockley, and there is a clear statistical spike in depression and anxiety and in suicidality. It's out there. Um, the big question here is why? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think a lot of times people, especially today, they think it all has to do with the pandemic. Um, but we were seeing those numbers before the pandemic. And so it's important to not just throw all those numbers into, oh, it was the pandemic and we just have to get past this. Um, there were a lot of things happening in the world before the pandemic that did contribute to spikes in anxiety, depression, and suicidality. And um, in my professional opinion, there is a lack of connection in our world. Um, a lot to do with the technology and the constant um, looking at our cell phones instead of engaging one another. Um, there are so many reports and studies on how uh, social media usage is affecting, especially the growing and developing brain of teenagers and adolescents. Um, and it's, act it's, it's not helping them, it's actually contributing to the anxiety, depression, and suicidality. So it started in 2007 when we saw that spike. And if you're holding a, uh, a phone that has apps, then uh, say hello to the spike. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where, where we see a lot of it that's begun. Uh, there's an old saying that birds of a feather uh, flock together. They find each other. Now, what if you could find entire communities that were propping up the least healthy parts of who you are mm -hmm. and teaching you how to do it more effectively or glorifying it or telling you that, that you know what, you're a victim and there's nothing you can really do about it. Well, go ahead and feed that. Prop it up and see how big it gets. It can get very big. Why has there been a spike? Well, because uh, Somebody said in a statistic last week on the radio, which so, so it must be true, um, is that that they that the average person touches their cell phone two thousand times in a day. Wow, two thousand times where we're looking at this. I'm getting world news. I'm getting uh, social media. I'm getting your filtered life. I'm getting the fact that I'm unhappy with the conflict. We have the unfortunate luxury of knowing everything that's going on everywhere all the time if we want to. Uh, well, you think that would make you more anxious? Mm -hmm. How much of the world is something that would make you uh, more depressed? Or how frequently did we talk about suicide back before 2007? Probably not enough, but not in the way that we're doing it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're saturating our minds mm -hmm. with all the negative, like you said, parts of ourselves, um, and we're getting we're getting affirmation from these groups that we have a groupthink mentality, right? And so now, if we're all talking about the things that are depressing us, and and there is value in knowing you're not alone on an island, yeah. um, in a therapeutic group counseling way, but just the oversaturation of our brains and our experiences being. Um, the things that drive our anxiety, depression, and suicidality have ramped up significantly. Um, and then those things that were already present before the pandemic just got heightened through the pandemic and through being, you know, uh, in your home and alone and or with your spouse and you don't have healthy communication and conflict resolution. Um, and then if you are constantly seeking um, just a numbing agent for the ways in which you don't feel good. If your anxiety and depression um, are begging you to just binge watch Netflix, it became easier and now it's become an addiction. And so, yeah. We're seeing such an increase in mindfulness as effective treatment for nearly every aspect of mental health. Mm -hmm. The art of being here and present and aware um, now, when I get bored, if I'm in a waiting room, I want to go somewhere else. I want to start scrolling and I want to be amused or entertained or not here or not present. Um, how do we fight this? Mm -hmm. Well, put down your phone. Mm -hmm. and, and I say that and I'm looking at my face on the reflective screen here and I am guilty of, uh, of near addictive levels of digital connection. Mm -hmm. And I imagine that I'm not alone. Uh, how do we fight this? Well, we space ourselves from the contaminant. What's mm -hmm. the contaminant? Uh, that phone is a good thing or is the bad thing and learning to regulate it will go a long way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, 
agree. We, we're counselors. Um, we, we can help you with that. Uh, you can probably help yourself with that, but uh, you know, really, if you'd like some help learning how to navigate those things, fixing those relationships that are closest to you and fighting that anxiety, depression, uh, well, give us a call. Thrive Christian Counseling, Owen Clinton, we'd love to talk to you. Thank you.